I says, oh, this is a waste tire, okay? I've been in the tire recycling business since 1985. We have equipment, expensive equipment that can uh, do almost anything with the waste tire, but it's not really cost effective to spend large amounts of money to uh, reduce this tire to particles and to make things. So I've tried to come up with economical ways of uh, building things, and I've come up with a, uh, a product that I call a treadstone. What we do is we take this waste tire and we have machinery that will take the sidewalls out of that tire, which leaves a tread. <clears throat> we build the treadstone solely out of the tread from a waste tire. And I'll explain some of the products that we use with this. We build uh, many, many things out of it, and I'll show you how to make a treadstone. We, lay, we call this a ring. We lay the ring down. This is a tread that was a ring, and we just sliced it. I put the tread into the ring, and I continue this process until the ring is completely full. It's solid. And once it's solid, it can withstand a lot of pressure. It becomes a building block, <coughs> of which we, we build retaining walls. We build road beds, uh, embankments, many, many things. You simply insert the uh, tread into the uh, ring until it's solid core. Now, we have a solid block. And I'm going to show you what we use, uh, one project that we use these treadstones on. And, uh, a little later in the presentation, we'll show you how we build a road bed. I remember we were talking about the treadstones, what we used for over here. We're building a road bed with treadstones. And uh, I'll show you how we do that. First thing, all the together. Why, why would you use treadstones in the bed? Well, there's places that uh, the soil is so unstable that you have to build it up and stabilize it. And these treadstones we found are excellent for that in areas, swampy areas, low lining areas. And uh, this is the beginning of the roadbed. As you see, we tied the, uh, all the rings together, we, we bolt them together, and then we will go back and insert the uh, tread into the treadstones. And then we'll come back and we'll cover this with soil and compact it. Then we'll come back with crush and run, and then we will put crushed asphalt on it and we'll have a road which you can drive 18 wheeler over if you want to. Okay, we're over here on a completed section of the road that we built with treadstones. As you can see it's already has a crushed asphalt on it. It's a very solid road. At one time this was a swampy area. You could not possibly drive a vehicle through here. And now we have a completed road built with a base of treadstones, soil, compacted soil crush and run, and then crushed asphalt. Of course, you can pave over top of this or anything you want to do. You have a good solid road that'll be here for a lifetime. As you can see, we've built about a quarter of a mile of road here and using this treadstone. And I'm standing at the beginning of the uh, road that we built. If you have any questions, if you're interested in uh, what we know more about treadstones or any other product, Tires. Go to our website at www.andersontirerecycling.com.